Hi friends and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll show you how to switch roles as an IAM user. But before we can just go switching roles, there's a few things that we need to set up first. So let me show you those. Here in the AWS console, I'm logged in with my root user and I'm gonna to navigate to IAM, Identity and Access Management, of course. And I have done a little bit of setup work previously. I created one user for Dwight Schrute. If you want to learn more about IAM and users and roles and such, check out the link above for another video. But we have Dwight here. If we click into his user account, he doesn't currently have any permissions. In fact, I have him logged in in a different browser. Let me show you that. Here we're logged in as Dwight. And if I were to try to do something like go to S3, let's say, or any other service, you'll see that I don't have permissions. But we're going to say that Dwight occasionally needs to have admin permissions to do whatever he wants in the system. Now, disclaimer here, this scenario is a little bit contrived. In the real world, a best practice is to create IAM user groups, grant the appropriate permissions to the group, and then add users to the group. But for the purposes of showing you how to switch roles, we're going to work directly with Dwight as an IAM user. Okay, so back to my other browser where I'm logged in as root. What we want to do now is create a role that Dwight can assume. I have quite a few roles here already, but we're going to create a new one, create role. For this one, we're going to select AWS account, and this will apply to this account. You are able to work cross account as well, though, if you needed to, but I'll just leave that selected and say next. This role is going to have administrator access. So we'll just type in administrator, hit enter, and we'll choose this one right here which basically gives us full access to do whatever we want, and then say next. We'll give the role a name, admin role. We'll leave everything else the default here. There's our administrator access policy, and then we'll say create role. All right, now just because we've created that role doesn't mean that Dwight can assume the role. We need to grant him that ability. So we'll come back to his user account, clicking on users over here, Dwight, and then over here, I'll add an inline policy. I'll choose the JSON option. I have some code on my clipboard, so I'll paste this in. So here we're saying we're allowing assume role, and then we need to copy in the ARN from that role. Let me go grab that. I'll just open up a new tab here. Navigate back to IAM. And roles. And this was the admin role. And this is the ARN that I want right here. So I'll copy that to clipboard, paste that in here. And then we would need to provide Dwight with our account number here, as well as the role name, admin role. We also need to make sure we save this. Let me review. And up here, we'll give this the name admin role policy and then create policy. All right, now back to Dwight's browser. Now up here on the top right where his name is, you'll see that I do have role history. I was rehearsing this earlier, so we could ignore that. Normally you wouldn't see that if this is the first time you're doing this, but you wanna switch role and then enter that account number that you would have provided to Dwight earlier. The role name is admin role. And then you can choose a color. This will highlight the role name up on the top right as you're using that role. I'll show you that in just a second. We're gonna say switch role. And now, voila, Dwight has full access to S3, all the buckets in here, and pretty much has full control to do anything he wants in the environment. You'll see up here as well, that blue highlight for admin role. And then whatever point he's done wreaking havoc, we can switch back to just the regular Dwight IAM user. And now he doesn't have access to do anything. So that's it. That's how to switch roles as an IAM user in AWS. If you found it helpful, check out the AWS playlist for other videos, and also think about subscribing to be notified when I upload new things. Thanks so much for watching.